This is going to be quick. It's a review of SDR trunk uh, and using it uh, to basically uh, decode P25, in this case phase one, uh, on uh, trunking mobile radio systems. If you go to radioreference.com, click on database, you can look for uh, your specific area for uh, emergency, fire, or rescue, whatever it may be. And what you're looking for, at least in the case of P25 phase one, you're looking for the control frequencies. Uh, and you have everything that you need uh, to get this running pretty fast. Hopefully this will be less than five minutes, but change to your user source directory, JMBE. You'll want to run this command here. This will build the jar file, uh, as I could not include that build it, or built, uh, so this will get you that. Shouldn't even need internet. I think everything, the build tools are already there, as long as you run the command just like I have. Remember this, uh, where the JMBE library is located. You'll need that here in just a second, which I, I think is what I actually forgot to cover in an old video when this was in uh, Dragon OS 10. But change to the following directory: SDR, uh, your trunk folder, bin, and then you want to run this file. This will pull up the GUI, and this is where I think I forgot to cover this, but you go to View, Preferences, go to the JMBE Audio Library, you'll change it, you'll navigate to the User Source JMBE folder, look under Kodak, Build, libs and there it is you can click that close out go to channels you'll click uh, you'll click new it'll add uh, a block down here where you can name it whatever you want you'll come over to source you'll put in uh, your control frequency in my case it's eight five eight eight five seven three one two five I'll select the uh, I've actually got a hack RF plugged in there as well, but I'll put the preferred tuner being the RTL SDR. I'll come over here to, to decoder, drop it down to P25 phase one. In my case, the normal modulation is fine. I'll save that. I'll come over to tuners. I'll left click on my RTL SDR. You can uh, left click on the Frequencies are on the blocks here. Left click uh, raises it. Right click lowers. I've actually got this backwards. It's eight five seven three one two five. You'll see it's pretty strong. All right, so. I'll come back to uh, once I've got that set. And if you need it, you could change PPM and, and stuff, but I'm not really going to mess with that with the RTL SDR. I'll come back to channels, click on start. So, uh, wow. So that's uh, what I've been using to kind of monitor things. So, uh, yeah, you can go more in depth uh, and uh, set additional settings, but that's a pretty quick, at least with P25 Phase 1 unencrypted, uh, really quick how to. That'll get you up and running, uh, especially with the RTL SDR. And as long as the uh, you, you got to keep in mind the bandwidth uh, as long as the channels and everything's occurring within the bandwidth capability of the RTL SDR, you should be fine. If you have a couple, you can put them in there and it'll start to add, uh, add the additional tuners in to, to help. So, all right.